Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to add default constraint to existing column or columns in SQL Server table. Let me open SSMS and show you the definition first. Default constraint inserts the default value into a column when you do not provide the value for that column. So if we will have a default constraint created on a column and we do not insert the value for that column, it will take that default value, whatever we have provided as a definition uh, part of default constraint. Now uh, we have, a, I'm using Tech Brothers database here. Uh, you can execute or you can if we want to change it to another database you can change from here and then I'm creating a DBO customer table I have first name worker 50 last name worker 50 country name worker 50 and region I do not have any default constraint definition or I'm not creating default constraint on this uh, uh, table for any column as of now we will add that later so let's go ahead and uh, create the table and if we will select the data from this table select asterisk from dbo customer we'll see no no data but just the column definition here so we have first name last name country name and region now i'm going to insert some data before i insert the data i want to show you a few things as our table contains four columns so you see that i'm inserting the data into first name last name country name and region and i have the four values so first name is Ahmed, last name is shahzad and country is pakistan and region is asia the same thing i'm doing for sukhjit singh and he's from india and the region is asia so i'm inserting the value for all the columns now let's uh, move to the next insert statement and here i'm only inserting the values for the first name and last name as uh, our columns are defined as uh, uh, null they can accept null we did not use a not null constraint or property so they will accept the null values here if i will insert the value into the first name and last name the country name and region will be null so let's go ahead and insert the data we are inserting four rows let's select the data and you can see that where we have provided all the values the values are inserted correctly and for the columns here for the to insert rows here we are only inserting the data into the first name and last name so nulls are inserted into the uh, country name and region columns now in cases of where uh, we think if somebody do not want uh, or somebody would not provide the value for those region and country name we don't want to insert the nulls we want to have default value and we always think like uh, this is always going to be this is our consideration or business use, uh, use case uh, like if uh, somebody insert the data and they would not provide the country name and region it means they are from United States and their region is North America so that's our assumption or our uh, test case or our use case so the, that, that business uh, uh, logic you got from uh, with the discussion of the uh, other team members they will say okay we are always uh, if no, uh, there is a case when person will not provide uh, the um, uh, country name or region uh, it means they are from America or maybe you would like to say if somebody would not provide the country name and region we want to insert the unknown region or say default region something like that but here that's how we will be creating uh, so we'll say alter table and table name so we have schema and table name then we say add constraint and then we have to provide the name of the constraint I'm using the naming convention that start with DF default constraint underscore schema name underscore table name underscore column name whatever the naming convention your company is using use that naming convention to create the name for your default constraint and then you have to say default keyword and provide the value and at the end you will say for uh, and you will provide the column name so we are saying add constraint name of the constraint default value for country name and then we can use if we are creating on multiple columns we have to separate with the comma here and say constraint and constraint name default North America for region so that's how you will add constraint default constraint on multiple columns with the values by using add constraint and altering the table so let's go ahead and run it we execute this value execute the script sorry 
as uh, if you remember that when we inserted these two uh, two rows uh, we did not provide the country name and uh, region uh, and when we inserted uh, there was uh, values were inserted as null in these columns uh, now we have the same scenario here we are inserting data only into first name and last name we are not inserting into the uh, country name and region uh, in both of the records uh, but if uh, we will run this uh, statements now there would be values for these country name and region those values will come from the default constraint because we have a default constraint on country name and region and we are telling if a person would not provide the value for the column such as country name or region these are the values you need to take so that's great let's uh, test this part insert it and now if we check the data we see that uh, the USA is the default value for a country and uh, North America is the region value uh, for the region column and we have created as a default constraint value so this is the default constraint value for our region now if uh, you say that uh, I want to insert the uh, null value so that's my choice uh, there is a scenario where I have to insert the null value for country what I will do you don't have to worry about that you have to just uh, say the name of the column so country name and then uh, here you provide null so if you will provide null it will overwrite uh, the default constraint because it's a value now so once you provide the value whatever the value you will provide that will be written to the column if you do not provide any value you will not use that column at all then default constraint uh, will take care of that so let's say if we are inserting this value now if I insert this and uh, take a look here now you see that uh, null value is inserted when uh, there is a default constraint uh, on uh, a column uh, you and you want to insert the null value you have to provide the column name and uh, say null otherwise uh, if you will not provide the column name it is going to take the va default value whatever you have uh, provided uh, so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in the next video